Good day, everyone, and welcome to the first in the series of the Auctioneer's Word from the Harrison Hetherington team at Based at Carlisle. Uh, we have uh, first to speak to today Glenn Lucas. Glenn Lucas is uh, the leader of the dairy team here at Carlisle. Uh, Glenn has years of experience marketing dairy cattle all over the world. And uh, just wanted to speak to Glenn about one or two things that are going on in the world of dairy at the minute. The first thing, Glenn, is um, what is the future of dairy farming in the north of Scotland? It appears an awful lot of cattle are going off. What's happening up there? Yeah, it's a little bit of a sorry situation, really. Uh, I feel sorry for a lot of the uh, younger generation that have invested up there to uh, milk cows, but M Mueller, Mueller have uh, cancelled a lot of their contracts, which end on the last day of November this year, which leaves them with uh, little or no options to continue milk production. So um, we have been uh, in the process of dispersing uh, quite a number of the uh, farms that are involved in that situation and uh, by the end of the year unfortunately it looks like there's only going to be approximately 10 uh, dairy farms left up in Aberdeenshire. That's a, that's a massive reduction there must be a massive shock to the to the uh, to the industry up there what, what will these guys do once they've sold the dairy cows off what's the what's the future for them? I, I think some of them are really struggling to uh, to make that decision, but I suppose that they do have they do they do have quite a good uh, land base up there. Most of the farms are good size, so they have they have the option of going into uh, cash cropping, um, and they're looking at some beef beef production as well. So it, a lot of them are. It's really a conundrum for some of them to. Uh, the, what the future does hold so a lot of them haven't made that decision yet yeah okay so and, and going forward you're um, the, all these dairy herds that you're involved with dispersing and marketing at the minute where are you selling these cattle what areas are they going into they're going all over the country and, and I think the location of Borderway is such a, a key factor um, in the success of our dairy sales uh, on Wednesday, which was our monthly uh, pedigree sale, uh, we sold animals to 18 different counties, um, down to Carmarthenshire and Pembrokeshire, down to Devon, across to Cork in the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland. So our, our location is such a, a key factor in the success, not, a, not a, only our dairy sales, but all of our sales. So um, yeah, we're, we're, we're selling them all over the, uh, the United Kingdom. And Milk price-wise, what what's the outlook over the next two or three months? Milk price-wise, it's that is really hard to really hard to gauge. I think a lot of the there's there's some fantastic milk prices out there with uh, companies like like Arla, and there's also some really um, disappointing milk prices. So uh, there there's a there's a massive variation from top to bottom in the milk league table uh, and the ones at the bottom really uh, long term are, it's not sustainable going forward but it's really hard to get a handle on where the milk price is going to be this this winter um, milk production volume wise remains fairly buoyant uh, spot market prices remain quite steady between 28 and 30 pence for most of the milk spot milk delivered so it's, re it's really hard just to get a handle on where it's going to be this winter. Yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, it, that, 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 and that will be quite worrying for a lot of the producers that are not on the top contracts, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Good, that's great, Glenn. Great to hear from you. Thank you for that just now. So, Glenn, one thing before we, we move on, uh, the general trade for, for, for dairy cattle at the minute. Can you just give us a, a quick resume of how things are? Yeah. It, it, Demand remains strong, and and that reflects uh, pretty much values in all the categories, whether it's freshly calved animals or mid lactation animals or, or young stock. They're 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 all um, they all remain very strong. In our last commercial sale at the start of the month, we sold almost 300 animals, with uh, averaging 18.49 for milking heifers, um, in calf heifers coming to close to. Uh, 
much over 1600 and our pedigree sale uh, which took place this week on Wednesday um, 63 animals selling for more than 2000 with an overall average of 2139 but um, just reflecting demand is really strong and people are prepared to pay for quality and I, and I do think the uh, the breeders and the milk producers that do, do support our sales are some of the best herds in the country so buyers are getting a wonderful choice uh, both in numbers and quality at Bordeaux at the moment. And going forward over the next weeks and months do you see the supply of dairy cattle remaining where it is or, or do you think numbers will tighten? I think, I go, looking forward for the rest of the year, our, our sales look to be quite uh, well supported in numbers. Um, but other than the rest, it, it's very hard to see long term with, with numbers. Uh, next year, if you look at the uh, AHDB numbers for young stock, they are slightly down. So that would be uh, that would be just something to pay attention for for some uh, flying herds. Yeah, yes, good. OK, Grant, well, uh, sorry, OK, Glenn. Thank you for that, and we'll look forward to hearing from you again soon. That was really, I enjoyed that, just apart from being called Grant, it was really good. <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> 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 <laughs>